Hello, college street friends. Today we are going to do a math lesson number talk using number lines to add bigger numbers. This is most appropriate for a second grader, but if you're a first grader and you want to give it a shot, you're more than welcome to. And if you're a third grader and you just want to review on some strategies, you're welcome to do this number talk as well. You can do this number talk at home. You really just need paper and pencil or your brain to think about it in your head. But if you want, you can make a number line to go with this number talk. We use lots of materials to make number lines. This one's made with cord and baseball, practice baseballs that I stole out of my son's bag. So this one goes five and five and five and five as its pattern. I made a giant number line for my classroom that just uses twine and unifix cubes. It counts 10 and 10 and 10s and 10s. There's 120 of them. It's huge. If you're at home, you can make your own number line using beads. This is called a beaded number line. And this just uses string. And my beads go 10 of one color, 10 of the other, and repeat that pattern over and over. You can get these beads from Amazon or at Walmart. They're called pony beads. They come in packages of 500. So you can make lots and lots of numbered, numbered beaded number lines if you want to make one yourself. Today, for our number talk, I'm going to just draw a number line that we're going to be using and thinking on. And then I'm also going to use the 120 chart to help me with my thinking and remember my numbers. You can print a 120 chart off as a PDF. They're free all over the internet. Um, or you can find a 120 chart on an app. They're there too. So we're going to start with adding in chunks. One of the things that first graders, um, I'm sorry, one of the things that second graders do is add bigger numbers. And sometimes those numbers require regrouping. And regrouping is one of those things that a lot of second graders and sometimes third graders or fourth graders or even fifth graders still have a hard time with. So I'm going to show you another way that you can think about numbers without regrouping them. So on this number line, excuse the bell, we just took attendance. I don't think so. <laughs> on this number line, I'm going to show 15 plus 27. So I'm going to start at 15 and then I want to add up 27. On my hundreds chart, I'm going to start at 15 and add up 27. But instead of adding 27 the traditional up and down way, I'm going to chunk it into parts and add all of the parts. So when I start at 15, I'm going to add 27 first by adding the tens. So I know 15 plus another 10 is going to be, do you know? It's okay if you make a mistake, can you guess? Let's see. It's going to be 25. Is that what you said? If it's not what you said, that's okay. As we go on with this number talk, you'll start learning from some of your mistakes. So 15 plus 10 more is 25. I have two 10s and 27, so I'm going to do another 10 jump. Do you know what 10 more than 25 is? Did you say 35? So 15 plus, I'm sorry, 25 plus 10 more is 35. So now I've added my 10s and now I need to add seven. But because I've practiced my numbers that made 10 in first grade, I know that I already have a five here. So I'm going to chunk my seven so that it's easy for me to add it to my five to make a new 10. So instead of adding seven all at once, I'm going to split my seven up so that it's five and two because I know five plus five makes 10. So on my number line, I'm just going to add five more. And if I go five more than 35, that's going to put me at 40. And then I just need to add the other chunk, which was the two, and two more than 40 would be 42. So on my number line, I can add my tens and then my ones and still get 
to my final answer of 42. I can also show this pattern of adding tens and then adding ones on my hundreds chart. So you can do it on a number line or a hundreds chart. Let's try another one. So I'm gonna clean my marks off and let's try this with 23 and 18. I'm going to add 23 plus 18. So when I draw my open number line, I'm gonna start with 23. And then I'm gonna add 18 and I'm going to chunk it. I know 18 can be chunked into a 10 and an eight. On my hundreds chart, I'm gonna start at 23. You don't always have to add the tens first and then the ones. So this time I'm gonna show you how you can do your ones first and then your 10. Instead of adding eight, that doesn't make a friendly 10. I'm gonna chunk eight into seven and one. That lets me take my seven and put it with my three because I know seven and three more makes the 10. So if I'm at 23 and I go seven more, I'm gonna end up at 30. And then it's easy for me to add one more. That's gonna be 31. So that makes it a little bit easier to add when I chunk it into the parts. I still need to add my 10 more, so I'm at 31. Now I need to do a hop of 10 that's gonna get me to 41. So I can think 23 plus seven plus one more plus 10 more, and that adds all of my parts of 18. 23 plus seven plus one more plus the 10 more. I added all of the parts of my 18. Let's see if that works on another number. clean up my board. Oh, I didn't mean to erase that. Let me put that back. Let's try 17 plus 25. So draw your open number line. I'm going to start at my 10. I'm sorry, I'm starting at 17. So I'm starting at 17 and I'm going to add 25. So do you wanna add your tens first or your ones first? It's your choice. I wish I could hear everybody. I'm gonna do my ones first because I know I just did three and seven and now I have a seven. So I know if I take three from the five and put it with a seven, that's gonna get me to my next 10. So for me, that seems to be the easiest jump. I wanna start with the easiest jump. So that's gonna get me to 20. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my two tens. So I have a 10 and a 10. And I like adding my tens when I'm already on a 10 because I can count by tens super easy, 20 and 30 and 40. So my tens go straight down. So I added my two tens. I added my three. Hmm, I feel like I forgot to add something. Do you know what I forgot to add? Oh, look what I did. When I chunked my three, I didn't use the other part of the five. I still have to add two more to get all the parts of my five. So that's gonna give me 242 because I had to go two more. So again, you can show this on a number line or you can show it on a hundreds chart. And if you're having trouble with regrouping, these are great strategies to use to think about how those numbers are getting bigger. All right, we're gonna do the last one. And this time, we're gonna try to do it in our heads. Because really, when we do a number talk, we wanna see if we can do it in our heads. So I'm gonna start with 16 plus 24. I'm gonna give you a minute to think about that one in your head.
if you think you know the answer and you're used to doing a number talk with me, I bet some of y'all are giving me a thumbs up. All right, so I know that I have one 10 and two 10s. So if I put those together on my number line, if I'm starting at my 10s, that would be 30. Two 10s and one 10s makes 30. So I just use my 10s to count my 30. And I know my ones have six and four. If you know your 10 facts, you know six plus four makes another 10. So 30 plus 10 more would give me my final answer of 40. Okay, super duper. If you can do 16 plus 24, you should be able to do 16 plus 27. Can you do it in your head? So if I use my strategies that I've been using before, one of the things I can do is chunk my seven so that I can move the four over with the six, just like we did up here when we had four and six. I still have a three over here that I'm gonna need to use later. I wanna write that down so I don't forget. So I know 16 and four more, that's gonna give me a 20. And then I still need to add my 20 here. I know 20 plus another 20 is going to give me 40. And I still need to add the bit of three that I had over here. That would give me my 43. Now, some of y'all are probably looking at this one and you saw this one and you're like, well, of course it's 43 because 27 is just three more than 24. So this is one way that you can do a number talk. There's lots of videos on YouTube with number talks. This one, we were using the strategy of thinking about our numbers on a number line or thinking about our numbers on a 120 chart. Stay tuned for more videos soon.